Ahead of International Women's Day on Sunday, we are sharing stories of remarkable women right here in the GTA. And tonight we meet a teen who has dealt with threats to her safety while working towards environmental change. CTV's Beth McDonnell has that story. Kaheka Shabashu is an eco-warrior at home in Toronto and around the world. The 19-year-old's mission to make communities safe, healthy and sustainable. When I was seven years old, I saw the image of a dead bird with its belly full of plastic. And I could not sleep at night because I was so deeply disturbed by what I saw. And I couldn't stop thinking about the pain and the agony the bird must have gone through before it died. Ever since, Bashu has been on a path to make a difference. At 12, she started the Green Hope Foundation, which works with children in 15 countries. This is one of them. The group has planted 500 trees at Earl Bales Park, helped develop a cleanup program at a Syrian refugee camp, eliminate plastic at an orphanage in Suriname, get rid of trash in Oman, and plant mangroves in the Middle East and South Asia. Bashu says being a woman has brought challenges. I've uh, experienced severe cyberbullying. I've faced uh, stalking, death threats, threats of physical abuse. In 2016, Bashu won the International Children's Peace Prize. Then, two years later, was named one of Canada's women of influence under 25. She's also a United Nations human rights champion. As I grew up, I realized that, you know, because of my gender, because of my age, I was always going to face some kind of obstacles. And of course, because of the work that I'm doing. And, and that is where the passion came in to help me continue my work. Bashu's dream, to have her organization in every country, to engage and empower more young people for the future of the planet. Beth McDonnell, CTV News, Toronto.